Tonight, another winter wallop pummeling the southeast. As a January freeze in half the country sends temperatures plunging 20 degrees below this time of year's average. I need all my layers up, even the mouth and nose. 12 million are under winter alerts, a rare ice storm taking aim at weather-weary residents in the Carolinas, with dozens of utility crews preparing for the worst. We hope that things go smoothly and that we don't get hit too hard, but, you know, we're prepared in case. Just days ago, tens of thousands there lost power amid freezing temperatures. The one-two punch slickening roads, sending even an ambulance sliding near Raleigh. The treacherous commute feared beyond Earth. NASA delaying the return of a SpaceX Dragon cargo ship due to inclement weather. The storm system bringing a taste of winter as far south as Brownsville, Texas, which recorded only its fifth winter storm warning ever this week. Describe how cold today is. It is like you're stepping into a freezer. It's very uncomfortable. <laughs> More than 60 million Americans started the day with wind chills at zero or below. Temperatures that could give you frostbite within minutes. It's cold enough that you got to watch your step everywhere. It's, uh, you know, iced up all over the place. From piers in New York to billboards in Texas, water fast turning to ice. Wind chills dropping to negative 24 in Minneapolis, minus 7 in Boston, and 4 degrees in the Big Apple. A merciless cold that forecasters warn is here to stay through the end of the month. Emily Aketa joining us now from Central Park here in New York. Emily, is there any relief in sight from this bitter cold? Lester, unfortunately not. Several governors have already declared states of emergency as temperatures are anticipated to drop even further overnight. That will make for even worse roadway conditions. Plus, more snow is on the way for different pockets of the country, including hard-hit Virginia and North Carolina. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.